talk through failures with me. Yeah. Um, I joke, where do I start? But, uh, I know exactly where to start. Um, you know, I never failed, uh, at least, you know, at a macro level, you know, I mean, we all fail like in seventh grade, I didn't make the soccer team. Okay. I failed, you know, okay. I played football and I had a great career playing football. <laughs> glad I, glad I didn't make the soccer team. I sucked at it. You know, um, but I talk about macro failures, you know, you talk about character failures, you talk about areas where, where, where you really, you got sideways and it took a long time to figure that out. You know, and, and for me, that happened, you know, for me, I, you know, my biggest failure, which, you know, I, you know, I think I've reversed it now as best you can, you know, never go back, but, um, was certainly as a, as a husband and a father, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I mean, I was met, you know, my, my wife, we were 18 years old, you know, freshmen in college, uh, when we first met and were together, you know, as all college couples are on and off the whole time we were there. And then, you know, we got married when we got out and I went in the army and, um, and then I, you know, I lived, we lived a life apart and we lived a life apart for a long time, uh, as I deployed, you know, five times, you know, to on, on deployments and then, you know, all the other trips and trainings and all the time that you're away. And, you know, we ended up in separating and we spent the better part of seven years, uh, mm -hmm. apart. Um, you know, we never lost, you know, some connection and we had our daughter, you know, you know, who when was four when we separated and, um, we always had her in common, which I think was, you know, kept us together in some way, you know, at least the connection, cause we always wanted to make the best interests that we could with her. Uh, but I had to go, I had to find myself. Um, I didn't know who I was. You know, I joked about professionally having to go figure out what I wanted to be when I grew up, but I, I was at a spot where I had to figure out who I was, uh, you know, not only, not personally, I mean, more than professionally, you talk about people, you know, you look at all the people who generally, not everybody, but generally get out of college and, when do you act the fool? When do you make all the mistakes? When do you have, you know, feel, oh, I had the time of my life in my twenties. You know, I did all this crazy, you know, I went out every night and, you know, I had 25 you know, relationships and did, you know, every crazy thing I could think of. And I chased experiences and, you know, I was 25 years old in Iraq for a year hmm. at the height of the conflict when we had to install, you know, we had the surge and we had, you know, the massive, bombings of you know and and tremendous amount of sectarian violence i was in iraq yeah and you're experiencing from, things you're just not experiencing the same things that everyone else is talking about that's it you know yeah. and and you know i got to a point when i got out of the army you know, even to an extent a little bit when i was in the army where you know i had i had felt that i had started that i had missed something that I had missed this defining point in my life that there was this gaping hole that needed to be filled. And how was I going to fill it? Well, you know, I was going to fill it by moving to New York and going and doing all these things to, and, and, and me being, you know, I'm, uh, if you think about a volume dial, me being either a zero or a 10, uh, it was, it was going to be all in. Yeah. And I was going to act the fool at the highest possible volume that I could, uh, that my body and my age would allow me to do, uh, and still maintain some semblance of, you know, being able to go to school and work and, you know, some, some level of parenthood, albeit very poorly, you know, during that time. Uh, and, in, and in the process, you know, you hurt a lot of people, mm. uh, tremendous amount of people people I met, you know, people who were, you know, my friends, people who, you know, had you know, relationships with, you know, my, my wife, my daughter, uh, my family, um, you know, heard a tremendous amount of pe people because of the selfishness, uh, you know, you know, we can argue and I can argue and, and still, you know, look in the mirror and say, well, you had to go through that experience to get to where you are today. Yeah. Maybe that's true. Maybe that's true. Uh, but there was a tremendous sense of failure. Yeah. A tremendous sense of, you know, I had these morals, I had these values, I had these things that I cared about, you know, character wise that I believed in for the better part of my life. 
and then very quickly threw all of those out the window for this sense that I needed to go have some level of experience or, or fill this gap that I felt I never had. 